Hello guys and welcome to episode 4 of my Tiraspol campaign in Stone Division 2, playing on the Soviet side. Previously we made an attack leading with the 1041st Rifle Regiment. They took a beating pushing into the forces of the Germans here. They held pretty strong behind their bunkers and certainly made it a very Pyrrhic victory. But now we're going to be attacking them again. I'm going to be attacking them away from their bunkers this time around to make sure that, that the same does not happen again where we get absolutely wrecked. So we're going to go for the 1st Battalion of the 106th Infantry Regiment. We're going to be bringing in pretty much every unit we can see. So all of these. We'll have some extra AT in Phase B and then we've got the 93rd Rifle Division in C. And they're going to have like a bunch of their infantry, maybe the Fusiliers, we will see what else they bring. They can't bring an aircraft, we can't bring an aircraft. I'm going to save my aircraft for this attack. Let's tactical battle, and in we go. I do have the auto deploy menu on this time, so we can see exactly what's coming in for the fight. Uh, because previously I kind of got caught out a bit by the Stugs. They've got artillery ban, uh, battalion, uh, fusilier battalion, and three infantry uh, regiments. So they're all in phase A, I think. Otherwise, it would say. So this is interesting. We're actually going to be at a pretty big disadvantage initially. All right. Well, we'll manual deploy, of course. Let's just get some troops down. I'm going to have to probably play this quite defensively initially and then after the ball has gotten rolling and we get into phase B we'll get more points we'll be able to start overwhelming our opponent. It's going to be very difficult regardless with all of those units that they're going to bring in in phase A. Very, very difficult indeed. I'm just going to get plenty of Maxims down. And hopefully that will be a base for defense. And then we can bring in some snipers further back. I would kind of tempted to push like PTRS to the 50-50. If we can pick up any cheeky kills. Nice thing about PTRS is they have a magazine, so they actually do tend to get quite a lot of kills pretty fast. And with that done, uh, we'll bring in some Blarky DP and unload and go up the hill. I'm just going to unload them all in the same place. Uh, and then we'll have a leader with those. I'm tempted to bring in a commander. On the side, we'll put a leader over here. I think the lack of leadership was something that definitely made me take maybe more losses than I should have in the last episode. So we're going to try and rectify that this time around. Yeah, I'm just definitely having to like concentrate way more on what I'm doing. In these battles now, the AI is a lot harder to deal with since the update. And honestly, I'm happy with that. Like, yeah, it's it's ridiculous. But honestly, I kind of like it. I think it's good. It's a good challenge. And it's definitely switched things up a lot from the sort of formula I had going before with like the same way that I play out most battles. I think AT guns on the roads here would be good ideas as well. The nice thing about these 45s now is that they can fire HE so they're not useless against infantry. Okay, and then maybe some mortars, but 
guess the other thing would be artillery. I think potentially I could bring in a bunch of these guns at the start and then just counter battery with them. So we're going to do that. I'm going to put them on the counter battery. And we're going to put them in a group. And instead of just firing them all at the same target, probably going to put like two on one target until we see another gun fire, put another two on that target, and so on. So that we don't just like waste all our counter battery potential right straight away. But it's going to be a difficult start. I'm going to have to really pay attention to where their forces are coming in. I think the first thing that I'm going to do is probably just buy more infantry. Any place where I've got... Ah, oh, that's annoying. I downloaded that one too late. Way too late. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Um, let's see, we can move up these sapoli. Okay, that's good. The PTRS is killing the the bikes. Mm, that unit kind of got wrecked. So far, so good. We haven't got completely overwhelmed just yet. Uh, we should definitely be looking for artillery, actually. It's going to be hard to spot while I'm trying to pay attention to the front line. So I'll give it my best shot. We're going to have to stay relatively zoomed out. Like I would love to zoom in more for you guys, but I think it's even harder for me to do so now. With the way that the battles are. That's coming in from over here. Where is that firing from? So we'll put two onto that. Hopefully we can kill it with two. died on that side. Okay, that's hard to deal with. Only one artillery piece firing? I think so. Alright. Let's bring in some more Maxims. I'm just going to dot them about. The battles seem like a lot more kind of like conventional than before in that like we're not just steamrolling the enemy 
as fast. We have to actually play around certain things here and there. Definitely not as easy. It's great, like I'm absolutely loving it. Gotta be very careful with that fire, all the fire. I mean, without the bunkers, this is like a lot easier than the last battle we played out in the previous episode. It's because we don't have to be so static, which means their artillery isn't doing as much damage to us. I'm going to bring in more of these guns. A couple of units on the left side that haven't moved. Getting some good shots in there. This really feels like they don't have as many units as they should, in some ways. I guess I can't really complain. Oh, there's another IG. No. <laughs> Okay, veterancy is really helping us out this time as well, I think. I'm happy about that. Ooh, that's a lot of units coming in. bring in another commander. Make sure those are getting the veterancy they should be. Not really being arty'd as much as we were before. Which is fine. I'm just really hoping that they're not building up a load of points and at some point they're just going to flood in with loads of grands. I mean, the initial unit we attacked didn't have many men left. So there is that. But they are relying a lot on these fusiliers when they did reinforce with other grenadier units.
We are 15 to 9. I feel like this is an opportunity for us to get a major victory, potentially. Bring in some of those avatars. We got any more Strak here? A few more. Not really having much luck with these artillery shells. And maybe they're just concentrating in some places more than others. Okay, artillery's to go. Uh, my MGs are being targeted on the left. about making some more ground there. Got some units in here now. Get those up. Gonna need a new leader. Gonna bring up a couple leaders here. My commander to move up further. Gonna get more of these AT guns in, more snipers. We have moved into phase B, so we do have our ZIS 2s and our ZIS 3s available now. Still very surprised there's not as much artillery fire. Especially counter battery. They should have any FHs. It just sort of seems a bit strange. As I said, I can't really complain because it would be really obnoxious if they were using all the other FHs and mortars and stuff. I would really like a major victory if we can get one. We're getting close. Uh, I need to kill the MG that's here. Shoot him in your 
Let's see if we can get on top of that grenade there. Uh, we'll bring in some aptos here. This is rough. We're not really making any ground on the left at all. I'm just gonna completely overwhelm that with as many Straki as I can. I think my best bet would be to just do this. I'm going to need some supply for these. Gonna bring in the rest of the guns. Seems like any units I send up here as well towards this flag just keep dying as well. Explosion's gonna damage that even more as well. Did not mean to be up there. <laughs> it's fine. We'll bring in more stuff in the center. Maxims, snipers, any infantry? Straki. And that commander's actually killed quite a few units on his own. Not quite into phase C yet. I'll try and push, overwhelm that side. We're going to try and push and take back the mid. Push, take back that. Like this. And hopefully we can get a major victory. Like a major victory would be so big. A lot of artillery starting to come in now. Starting to make life difficult. A lot of snipers up on that ridge. I've got a load of Straki here that we can use to take that objective. Go 
We are so close. It'd be a shame if we don't get major victory. nearly there. We have managed to secure 18 flags. I'd like 19 just to be safe. To keep pushing for it. We might just be fine. I think we've done it. Nice. Major victory. Whew. Damn, I feel like I'm getting repetitive strain injury in my hand to the amount of times I'm having to like press tab because of the amount of units I have to give orders to. That's ridiculous. 120 kills, 130 losses is actually not a great. Uh, again, with the KD... But I'm going to assume that comes down to us losing a lot of our artillery. Um, or at least some of it. I mean, some of these MGs. Oh, MG42s are just so gross. Oh, they had 210 mil morses as well. Let me overlook that. I thought it was just like 150s again. Well, that was, I think, a successful attack because obviously it's a major victory. But we lost a lot in the process. We lost 23 Maxims, 13 Snipers, 35 Straki squads. They lost 34 Grenadiers. They really didn't lose much artillery, even though I was trying to counter battery a little bit. Especially at the start. But yeah, we disorganized them. Okay, cool. So that's a lot of stuff disorganized there. And it opens up a hole in the front line. We're going to be able to exploit soon. At least in the next turn. So the next attack would then be this one. So the way that we're probably going to want to do that. Maybe we just attack the 2nd Battalion of the 466th, because then they can't reinforce with stuff from up here. Although it might be better that they do. Especially if I can make this a major victory, if I like bring in overwhelming air power. Uh, this unit, both of them are dug in, so that doesn't matter. Or in theory I could attack a disorganized unit here, but then I wouldn't really have many reinforcements. Like, it would just be this unit versus this unit, pretty much. Plus whatever comes in in the later phases. Hmm, that might not be too bad. Because they would bring in... Say if we did this, we'd bring in this unit. And then we'd bring in, like, an air, air unit. There's no... AA to stop us. Ooh, saying that. Need to check. Looks. Well, that comes in from that direction. I feel like we'd get stuck on this AA. No, that'd be bad. Alright, we won't do that. Um, let's go ahead and just attack this one. We're going to do these two with this unit and this unit, and then we're going to have an air unit. So, bombers is probably best, P2s, I mean actually I guess the big bombs will be alright, but they take a while to reload. But against the bunkers they'd be really useful as well, so I think I mean, we'll go for this one. Uh, previously we used uh, the Bostons, I would like to use the Bostons again. The Bostons are great, I think the ones with the four 250kg bombs are perfect for taking out bunkers, it's like the perfect size. But then again, like 250kg bombs and 100kg bomb 
is good. You'd have to probably use two five two of these five hundred kilogram bomb IL twos to actually get a kill on a bunker though. Um, and these one hundred kilogram bombs are kind of useless. And they'll be good against infantry, I guess, and maybe support weapons. Uh, what tactical battle? And this is going to be a hell of a battle. All right, let's jump on in. See what happens. I'm always really excited for these battles now, though. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I think they're really, really fun. Three infantry regiments. The artillery. Okay. All right, manual deploy. So we're going to have to probably go for... I mean, the left side has the most flags on this map, I think. Or at least the most concentrated, like further back here. And we can capture quite a lot of flags early on though, which is good, because that means it's going to be a bit more chill. We're going to have more time to bomb stuff. I'm bringing in loads of avtos here. I'm actually just going to unload them all there and we'll just spread them out into these. Uh, I'm going to do the same here. Which I'll just have them unloaded from the start. Tempted to try and PTRS, but it's probably going to be a bunker here. Um, we could try and PTRS some of the stuff that's going to come towards us, but I don't think it's going to work out too well. There's going to be a load of bunkers that are just going to snipe us on this map, I think. So, snipers is going to be important just for information. And we got a hope for no IGs at the start. <laughs> All right, uh, that'll do. I'm gonna bring in just a little bit of Straki. Don't ask me why I'm putting them off the road. Just getting lazy. Uh, let's launch the battle. Okay, uh, we have the naval bombers. So as soon as we see. Let's see. Right, we've got quite a lot of these ones, so we'll bring in some of these. As soon as we see a bunker, we're going to go for it. With the bombers. Yeah, we've already captured four flags, so that makes things a lot easier. Because it means we have more time. I think about six flags. Doesn't look like they really deployed that far forwards. Which is nice for us, because that means I don't have to worry so much about being transport sniped. Although, as soon as I bring in transports now, we're going to get wrecked. Uh, we're definitely going to bomb that. Uh, probably not worth that bomber, though. This bomb is like perfect for taking out bunkers. I don't think it's really worth wasting it on a pack 40. Um, then again, we don't really have any targets right now, so it should be fine. And if anything is nearby, it's just going to get dunked. Our big old IL-4s coming in. There it goes, that's the big old payload. That is it is a nasty payload, it really is. I'm gonna spread out a few AT guns. A few more maxims. Let's see if this can kill a bunker. I 
an IG, that's got to go. Right, let's see if it kills it. Yep, it's gone. Nice. Perfect. Get this into cover. Hopefully that was close enough. Good. Goodbye, IG. Yeah, these IL-4s are really doing a good job. I think I probably want to bomb all this artillery as well. IG. Not good. There's a bunch of stuff here actually. Definitely get rid of that artillery. A couple bombing strikes here would be fantastic. Gonna want to stay in cover for now. Not revealing anything unnecessarily. Just, we're gonna have to bomb the pack 40 the IG I mean the IG is probably the biggest threat right now we can afford two more bombers or oh, there's another IG there okay okay the pack 40s suck for sure but the IG 33s suck more <laughs> we'll get to the pack 40s later. Alright, I think that's going to be most of the IGs dealt with, if not all of them, because each one of their units has like an IG, I think, like just a single one. So that should be all of them gone. And then we just got to deal with the pack 40s and the MGs. Like these MGs kind of suck to deal with as well. The, especially across open ground like this, it's really, really difficult. We've got some reloadings now, so we can start to cycle them. I think we'll have the next bomber kill this lot. We'll have one bomb up on the ridge. These might as well fall back. There's an MG up there as well. Yeah, so this is a lot more like I used to do with my battles. So yeah, we'll bomb there, bomb there. Got to bomb this town. Got to get rid of that MG as well. 
вниз, ложись! We've also got to continue to crack down on their artillery. We're gonna have the uh, aftos go for it. Okay, uh, let's bring in some more infantry. I'm going to do more maxims, I think. Oh, that artillery. Spot on. We'll get rid of that bunker for sure. Get rid of that unit. I haven't really made many more flags since the start. I haven't managed to get too far forwards. It's just lots of stuff in our way. Hmm. I guess a big problem we have is just even though I'm managing to kill stuff with these bombers, they've just got so much stuff that it's like hard to keep up. And I've got two MGs there. I mean, at least we're kind of cycling these bombers quite well. Pinning my own dudes again. <laughs> oh, that did a lot of damage. Nice. Can afford a couple more bombers, take out that bunker. Go and bomb all of this stuff over here. Some artillery coming in from the back there, we'll go take that out. I do have some more bombers. Uh, let's do these two. Uh, we'll definitely take out that IG. Oh, they have another one. Okay. That means they might have two per, which would be bad for us. We are demolishing their support weapons, so that's really good. This is going pretty well, I think, so far. Taking out another IG there would be great. 
Anything that can hit us from range and just keep the pushes going. Keep it all moving. Then the artillery can't get us as bad. What is that? Oh, it's an artillery piece. Oh, I thought it was like an 88, because it's not normally a reason to have artillery that far forwards. I've got a load of these, like, smaller payload bombers. These are going to be great for taking out random units of Grens. I do have one of these actually, the rocket planes. I'll bring this in just because it's fun to use. <laughs> So it has two 305mm rockets, which are pretty big, as you can see, they're like having torpedoes, like air torpedoes. We'll target the IG. The only bad thing about them is they're pretty inaccurate. And in that case, did the job nicely. Got to pay attention to this artillery, it's quite a lot of artillery here. I'm just going to bomb them all individually because I don't trust the bombers to get the job done. Quite a lot of artillery on the right hand side, actually. That does pin down my own units, but it just kills a bunker so much faster. So in this battle, I feel like we're going to kill a lot of stuff. Get, get across to the open here, I can bomb some more stuff that was in our way. Keep bringing in more and more stuff. Eventually we'll just break through. Patron 
Okay, more bombers, please. That's the last remaining bombers. We'll drop one into the heavy cover there. We're going to drop one in here. Big old bombs coming down. Damn. We definitely do with bringing some infantry over here. <laughs> Go and capture that free flag. Keep these pushes going. Sorry, I keep zooming in and out and like trying to scroll on the list of bombers. Keep zooming me. Kind of suicide pushing here for the flags because I don't want it to end before we have 18. Oh, well, those bombers might give us that flag. Sure. I need another big bomber, though. With two more flags. I mean, maybe I can run onto this one. We can run into this one, I think. Especially if my bomber arrives on time. I can run this one as well. Oh, there's a bunker there, that doesn't help. Oh, we lost that flag, no. Ah, that sucks. <clears throat> Some of these have survived bombing strokes because they've got like half health. It's ridiculous. I mean, at this point, bombing bunkers, I feel like is pointless. We might as well just try and do as much damage as possible because we're not going to get a major victory. Although we've only got five seconds left, so... Yeah, it's a difficult map to make a lot of ground on very quickly, that one, because it's so like narrow and long.
But we got a lot of kills, so I think we did all right. Those bombers just clean in house. Really, really good. Yeah. Okay. It's a shame we didn't get that major victory. I really thought we could get it for a second, but we didn't. We still cracked a hole in that front line. Used up. Avtos, Maxim, Snipers, some Stwerky DP, some normal Stwerky. We didn't actually lose that many sort of mainline infantry, which is good. We lost a lot, quite a lot of like the support teams, like the Maxims and Snipers, but that's okay. That was a pretty good attack. All right. So with that done, unfortunately, guys, it has been my time, but we've absolutely decimated the front here. I mean, potentially I could make this attack with the 1,288th. That'd be a pretty simple attack. I mean, honestly, I could just move in here and just take these out. Okay, they brought in aircraft, but that's fine. Cool. Oh, that still left me with enough movement points to attack this one. Okay, cool. Well, we'll do that as well. Yeah. Uh, next time around, we'll make the attack onto the 2nd Battalion of the 466th and just wipe them out. That will leave a massive gaping hole in this front line that we can break through and then probably come down the far left side of the map whilst also trying to get around and encircle. This lodge, this AAA would be nice as well. And then uh, grab this flag. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.